so the DAO has been hacked. The DAO is a is a layer on top of the Ethereum network that uh, decentralized uh, autonomous organization. But anyway, people are losing a lot of money, and my heart goes out to you. I'm sorry, but. Uh, You know, Joseph Lubin, the guy who used to work at Goldman Sachs, he's trying to do damage control, so he's, you know, putting Vitalik out in front of everybody. And uh, they're talking about hard forking the uh, entire blockchain, which is very drastic and very scary because that's saying that Joseph Lubin, the guy who used to work at Goldman Sachs, is going to cut off the funds of somebody who hacked it, hacked into the, into his system. So it's not really a trustless system, is it? It's uh, not the same thing as Bitcoin and Litecoin. It's something different. And all of these altcoins are different, and that's why I say... I'm sticking with Bitcoin and Litecoin. You know, the Bitcoin network is jammed up right now and, you know, it's going through its growing pains and it has its issues, but uh, it's a secure network. It's been around for a long time. You know, did, uh, kind of irked off with Coinbase. You know, why did they put Ethereum on their exchange before Litecoin. I mean, they were trying to be prudent and cautious and didn't want to confuse people by putting Litecoin on their exchange too quickly. But they put uh, Ethereum on there. And I, you know, and, and, and Coinbase and Gemini did that within the same month of each other, within a couple weeks. And uh, I just wonder if Mr. Lubin did a selling job on them and, you know, whatever. I don't know. But um, in investing, you, you know, and I'm not, I'm a very simple man. I think uh, there's a certain beauty that lies in simplicity, and that's why I like Bitcoin and Litecoin. It's a simple, simple thing, and I just, I feel really bad for the people who are losing money with Ethereum now, but uh, this is a very experimental pl place, and Bitcoin and Litecoin could derail. I suppose it gets more and more difficult the more longer time goes on but uh, yeah it's too bad you know uh, stick with the fundamentals dollar cost averaging don't invest what you can't afford to lose because there's a good chance you're gonna lose in this space but uh, as for me I'm sticking with Bitcoin and Litecoin and you know, this Ethereum network has never really turned me on all that much because of the centralized nature of it. Because you have a, you know, these guys are doing damage control and they're talking about locking down his account by a hard fork, whoever stole this stuff. And uh, people trusted the network. They gave their private keys over to this DAO, you know. So, uh... You know, I don't know a whole lot about it, and that's one big reason why I'm not investing in it. And, uh, you know, some food for thought. You know, I'm a common man. I drive a truck. I'm not a techno guy. And uh, all this, all these altcoins, uh, you know, I don't, they don't impress me. I mean, I'm sure for all you computer guys, you see the, Ethereum network and you see all the potential and stuff like that and I've heard that it's harder 
it's a lot easier to uh, work on the Ethereum network than it is uh, the Bitcoin and Litecoin networks. But uh, apparently, the ease is not quite as secure. It's not as secure as those two networks. They've been around for a lot longer. And uh, the whole idea of smart contracts, you know, it's got a ways to go. But uh, my heart goes out to you guys who've lost a lot of money. You know, I didn't have very much money in it, and I'm glad I didn't. But, uh, you know, stick with the basics. Stick with Bitcoin and Litecoin.